First of all, the communication starts with the sender. He sends a message to another person or a group of people. Then the receiver or receivers coming back with another question or with answer of the, the question of the, of the sender. The communication involves uh, lots of other things like noises, uh, body language, eye contact, face expression, and a lot of other things. The communication is quite a difficult process, and most of us can easily handle without with it. Because of all these noises, uh, face expression, and all lot of other things, the communication can be verbal and non-verbal. But this, uh, my colleagues will talk about that a little bit later. and uh, movements communication. Gestures uh, <coughs> and uh, facial expression. Writing communication, uh, this is letters, parts, emails, text messages. Let's talk about, about <coughs> verbal communication now. Uh, we have too simple <coughs> words to be understandable, <coughs> no jargons, to be grammatically <coughs> correct, to be precise. Our diction has to be declared with a good tone. everyone. 
The gestures are, are part of the body language. Uh, uh, learning to uh, read body language means being one step ahead uh, of those who, who communicate. And the body language is therefore very relevant to management and leadership and to our aspects of work and business where communication can be seen and physically observed among people. <coughs> gestures. First point is, are you aware how you look to the others? The others rely, uh, rely on, uh, on our gestures. They can, they can, they can determine uh, our mood. In the, in the different cultures, the gestures mean different things. For example, this gesture, the all sign, in the most countries, <coughs> This means okay, that's fine. But in the non, no, uh, in the northern Greece, it means a sexual insult. <laughs> so um, if you use this sign there uh, to tell a person that he's okay, he will feel insulted. Alternatively, he may invite you home for an intimate dinner. <laughs> 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 control your nervous gestures and habits like mine. <coughs> so we should strive to control our nervous gestures and habits as they are not for our benefit. For example, a frequent hair scratch like that means uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty. Uh, when, when when our hands tremble, it is a sign of weakness. The third point is showing, op showing open gestures to others. So, for example, like the handshaking <coughs> associated with agreement or greeting when you meet someone. Let's talk about uh, facial expression. First point is eye contact. So, uh, ninety percent of our personal communication calls both involved. This is eye uh, contact. Uh, look at people for uh, five to ten seconds before looking away. It, it shows involvement. So, smile. It is very important detail. This, this smile every time when you work with people, it's 90% chance to it's 90% chance to success. Making faces. Here we have some examples. Happy face.
Ha, 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 ha. 